All right, y'all. So we're here at the uh, job for the day. Van is a mess. But you guys can see what we got going on here. For now, I have to use the blue hoses because, uh, you know, the hose reel situation and also um, um, my red hoses are kind of cracked. So I ain't trying to have like crazy heat messing up my uh my day <laughs> um and finally got around to cleaning my vacuum out really good and uh yeah Whoa, 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 whoa. I just needed this to, uh, I'm not gonna use it, I just needed it to stir my rinse. Look at that thing, she look nice. All right, let's go in here and see what we got, man. I mean, I already went in there, but let me show you guys. I think I cleaned this place like three times already. got this one here it's funny because on the camera oh no I guess I can see it is see something going on in there it's a lot darker on the camera though and then we have this one here this carpet always kind of shows the uh, the traffic, uh, it's, it's one of those carpets. It's super soft. And uh, yeah, let's make it happen. I haven't even moved yet. <laughs> So the, uh, as far as I know, they had the cleaners out on Monday. So I'm pretty sure they vacuumed. Looks like a 
really it just looks like a bunch of dust. A lot of times you get that uh, deep down dust that uh, some vacuums can't get to. Um, especially like maid services or housekeepers. Um, they don't really come in with something like this that's like a very strong vacuum. Um, I'm in a house cleaning uh, Facebook group and people always say, you know, the cleaners always say this, this is too heavy. And I'm just like, well, what do you want it to be? You know, light is not going to do it. You need something like a heavy motor to get a very good suction, uh, suction. So, you know, it is what it is. And then a lot of times they wear the backpack uh, vacuums. It doesn't have the, the beater bar, the, the bristles. So it's not opening the fibers to pull out some dirt. So, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I, I do what I do, because it's D-West for life, y'all. All right, y'all, so a uh, little bit of a hiccup. Um, and it, it's my fault because I'm not used to this. Um, so the hoses that I have now, the uh, not now, but my red ones, they have quick disconnects. Uh, you know, as far as like my uh, connections for the vacuum hoses and uh, it just clicks together. I didn't think about that um, when I was when I was putting all the stuff in and these need a hose barb, which I don't have. So I, I thought I had that electrical tape because I was putting I had some uh, red electrical tape that I was using, but I put it back like an idiot, but I wasn't thinking should have brought it so now I have to use this tape which it do and then for the uh, the hose this end I've been trying to like unloosen it and then I I see that they put some type of silicone glue in there which is like you really don't even need it like that yo it's like it's crazy so I'm gonna connect it to uh, to the Y adapter right there and that'll get me going after this, I gotta go to the store to uh, to get a couple things. But yeah, you don't, man, you don't need silicone on, on these connections. That's stupid. All right, so I got the tape wrapped around there. Luckily, I got it from my <laughs> from my door because my door's not screwed in yet. It's only on there with tape because um, I wasn't sure on what I was gonna need to do. I wanted to double check and make sure. So now I can screw it back in. But anyway, I cut off the. Uh, the, uh, the hose cuff and I just got it like that so it's going into the to the uh, filter box so and my customers you know calling just wanted to see what's going on um, want to see how long I'm gonna be because he's gonna have uh, people coming to uh, check out the apartment so we'll make it happen for him all right y'all So we got a hundred feet of hose. Twenty nine hundred RP, uh, RPM.
All right, y'all, so <laughs> the machine just cut off, and I'm like, what the hell going on? And I'm looking at the uh, uh, the oil filter, I mean, the uh, the fuel filter, and there's no fuel in it. I can hear the uh, the pump going off, so I'm assuming uh, a quarter tank is the uh, cutoff mark. Uh, so that is good to know. Sorry if it's scratching. I got my uh, seatbelt on. But, yeah, so, again, let... Like I set this up this way, that way, you know, I don't have to be on, on a job uh, of somebody that's actually there. Like a, this I mean it's a real customer, but um, it's a vacant, uh, vacant, so I don't have to be looking like a fool, and you know, in front of a uh, actual customer. So I'm just gonna go down the street and give me some gas, and we should be good. All right, y'all. Uh, Sorry about that. I'm still learning, y'all. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve for me. Even these hoses, they're hella stiff.
I don't think I like that, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I had to let the steam out. <laughs> so he was telling me like uh, when you you got to have this hose going down to let the steam out run uh, cool water through it. That way you can cool down the uh, heat exchangers and everything. And um, that was really it, man. Like. Again, this is my first first job. Like I did in my house yesterday, but I only did like the living room, and I had assistants. Um, one thing I did forget is to uh, turn on my uh, my rinse uh, detergent, so I came back out and and, and turned it on. Um, again, it's just like. I'm used to like one, two, three, four, and now I'm doing like four, three, two, one. Like it's in just in a different area, so it, it's it's backwards to me. Or I should just say it's foreign, but I'll get the hang of it. Um, so yeah, so we got as far as the bolts, we got two bolts on the opposite side already bolted down. These are just sitting in there because it's under uh, there's a beam underneath. And I gotta drill into the to the beam a little bit. That way I can get a uh, um, uh, what do you call a socket uh, in there. And then this side over here, there's two of them. They're not uh, bolted down because like this one has um, it's open, and then this one is you know there's stuff there. So I gotta figure out how to how to work on that. But I'm about to clear up and get the heck out of here. I do got to go to um, uh, to the hardware store real fast and get some WD-40. Um, and what I'll do is when I get home, I'll turn it on and hit up the uh, hit the blower with it. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all. This Daryl D West Enterprise. Y'all see me in this reflection. This van is clean. This D West for life, y'all. Peace.